welcome to Wet Wild and Wacky BC. Through the patchwork of our country, traveling the seams like postage stamps through bloodstreams. If cities are organs, then I am a cellular rider of plasma on route back to you. With the sunlight, I have a love affair, tracing curves of lips through evening hair, hands cradling the rolling grass. Now my eyes have made my mind straight. That's a lovely shot. Hello darling. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Where we going now? We are going to arguably one of the best hip hop break dancing events in Vancouver. I've never been to it. I have no idea what to expect. But there's gonna be a bunch of high flying ninjas and a lot of spinning, a lot of twirling, some whirling, a couple of did I say spins already? Yep. Yeah. Some of those as well. Is this um, arguably the best event for breakdancing in Vancouver today? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> personal comfort or self-advancement, to the best of my ability and to the limits of my physical and psychological endurance, I solemnly pledge to make every effort to return to safety those victims of disasters entrusted to my care. By the assignment of the mission to which I have consented, these things I do that others may live. And that last part is, is the overall motto that we've adopted for all of Search and Rescue, which is quite a powerful statement. Oh, it is indeed. Um, may I ask your, your official um, title? Um, commanding officer of this squad, which is 442 squad. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun job. It's a really rewarding job. <laughs> We're, you know, unlike most military airplanes that are meant to be in subdued colors and not be seen, right. it's complete opposite for search and rescue. We want to be seen. Lots of buttons. These guys are parachuters, they're paramedics, advanced paramedics, they're divers, they're mountain climbers, 
your skiers, so, so you name it. They're held to a higher physical standard than the rest of the military, and they get things like their own gym. This is what one of their parachutes looks like when it's packed. It's quite heavy, you want to try it on? Yes, please. Uh -huh. wow. Now imagine you're wearing that, and you've got a big pack that sits in the front of it that has all their medical equipment. Wow. Plus all of you know, all their other equipment. They give away a lot. You have a lot of the airplane and you jump out. Wow, look at these. Very heavy. Just did a big parachute jump like say about a half an hour ago. So you guys get the honors of packing all their shoes. If, you, if you're um, parachuting directly into the rainforest or into, into a thick, dense forest, yep. it's quite, quite likely to get stuck in a well, tree. Some, sometimes they do it on purpose, actually. When you're going into a, into a heavy forest, they've, they've got a special suit that they wear. It's an orange, really kind of hard nylon suit. It's got a big high collar that kind of protects around their head, and they're wearing a helmet. And the idea is to get actually hung up in the trees, and then they've got a special little thing like a like a little rope mechanism that they then lower themselves down to the ground. Wow. I told you they were mountain climbers, so they get to practice rock climbing. Right. You see, okay, so he's got a dry suit, he's got his flippers and all his dive gear in here. So, and that's just one bit of their equipment. So when they load up and go on the airplane, they've got huge carts that they roll all their stuff, you know. Because you never times. quite know. Well, yeah, they're, situation. they're preparing for everything sort of thing, which I joke that they will fill up whatever size airplane I give them. So if I gave them one of those big C-17 super duper huge transport airplanes, they would have, I bet you they'd have snowmobiles in them and, you know, <laughs> boats. So what would you say to people who are thinking about going out and if they get, got themselves in a predicament, what, what, what would your advice be? It, it's a consistent message that's always, think about what could happen if things went wrong and, and so be more prepared mm -hmm. and, and being prepared can be really simple I mean it can be making sure somebody knows where you're going and what time you're meant to, you know, to be back mm -hmm. and so that if you don't come back at least we, we can start searching yeah It's the Maximus, yeah, yeah, yes. Life is love, love is a feeling. Yes, we got love. I guess you guys do a lot of walking, hiking, and that kind of stuff. Like a daily thing, it's yeah. like a normal daily thing. Yeah, really, like that's all in our top recreational activities. When you have all this stuff in your backyard, what else would you want to be doing? <laughs> like sitting on the couch? No. <laughs> Not if you know where it's at. J'ai mal de mentir, la vérité fait fuir. Laisse-moi te dire, je tremble et je respire. Un nom dit qui me hante, une révélation troublante. Aime-moi comme je suis, me laisse plus seul toutes ces nuits. Simplement. So exciting. Um, it's snowing. And this means a lot of activities are about to happen in this fair country. Um, yes, ladies and gentlemen, skiing. Oh no! 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 Yes, yes, yes! No! Snowboarding. And basically, just lots of fantastic behavior. Here we go, yeah, yeah.
So he over there is deciding where the, the yeah. rocks are going to go. He's the strategist. A really sort of the captain of the team, if you will. Okay. So he's called the skip. And he decides, see how he's pot see how he's circling there? Right. He's saying, I want the rock to end up there. Now he's going over this side, so they're going to put this turn on it. And we'll see how close this guy comes. Oh, it's got six. Jack Holding. Hold on, yeah. And you are the president of the Comox Valley Curling Club, yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so they know the finer parts of the game, so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna take a shortcut, which is kind of straight ahead. We come up here. This fantastic MC, this dude, this Canadian dude, right? His name is MC B Rich, and uh, he basically has done this amazing um, song about a very Canadian thing to do, which is called "Going Out for a Rip." It's being featured on the Shark Tank album "Fun Youngs," uh, and you can also find uh, the Shark Tank websites which is www.sharktankrap.com and you can uh, buy through iTunes all their songs on the album Fun Youngs. So here you go. Here's a fantastic Canadian video. Well worth a giggle. Well worth your time. It's fantastic. Here you go. And here's MCB Rich. I'm from the great white north, right? Like up above the states? Yeah. The big landmass that the rest of the world hates? Fuck yeah. We're like above that. Fucking north, I guess. The big patch of trees where everybody's bored to death. We're just chilling up here, sipping syrup, playing hockey. Before we learn to walk, we can cross-check properly. Just yeah. rocking plaid jackets, chainsaws, we operate them right. Fucking A right we do, bud. We cut our weight in firewood every 20 minutes or so. Smoke break. And if the Leafs make the playoffs, I'll fucking jump in the lake. Fucking buddy comes over to my place the other night and he's like you wanna go out for a rip and i was like fucking right yeah so we hop in the truck and hit the mud and i was like oh fuck yeah bud just still for a rip are you bud just still for a rip just still for a rip are you bud just still for a rip just still for a rip Just don't for rip, are you bot? Just don't for rip. 
I come from the land of the polite, where shit's covered in ice. So when I'm down in the States, they're like, you're too fucking nice. Like, yeah, we got matters, but fucking buddies still fight and fucking swear and fucking drink all night. Like this one time, me and fucking buddy are out having a dart and fucking buddy burns a hole in my coat. And I was like, fuck, bud, because the coat was pretty new, right? And he's like, fuck you. So I put his head in a snowbank and just started fucking feeding him the right left. Like fucking boom, boom, boom. You had enough yet? And he's like, okay, okay, fuck, chill out, shit. So I pulled him out of the snow and we went out for a rip. Yeah, just out for a rip, are oh, you fuck? fuck yeah. Just out for a rip. Fucking right. Just out for a rip, are oh, you fuck? fuck yeah. Just out for a rip. Fucking right. Just out for a rip, are oh, you fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Just out for a rip. Fucking right. Just out for a rip, are oh, you fuck, fuck yeah. Just out for a rip. Fucking, fucking right. right. This is the historic Waverly Hotel. Uh, it's owned by the McClellan family. Um, Don McClellan runs the place. And it is the heart and soul of the music scene here in Cumberland. <laughs> Just please remember this is post show. I'm all verklempt and stuff. You look gorgeous, mate. Oh, you great. look fucking amazing. Thanks. You look gorgeous. So, what's your name? We're good. My name's Damien. And uh, what band are you playing with? I play with Five Alarm Funk. We like to write um, whatever sounds good. You only have one rule of editing, and it just has to sound good to us. That's why we kind of don't usually fit in a genre. What, what do you think about this band? What do I think about this band? Yeah. Oh, dance band extraordinaire, like funk, groove, you know, dance floor favorites, man. Like, I don't know, it's been like, what, seven, eight years we've been doing this thing? Easy. Coming here, I think yeah, so. Yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah, and like, it's always just like... I'll tell you one thing like, though, too. Big time dance uh, floor. Vig is an excellent example of uh, the kind of relationships that we make, actually, because... The, Oh yeah, it's like we family. just become friends and family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when oh, no. we really come here, legendary parties. Oh yeah, yes. and really, I, I don't even think I've ever stayed in one of the rooms that you've oh, given no. us. Like no. I just, I sleep somewhere in this somewhere. town. Like we every single time we come here. And the well, guests don't even know what you do. <laughs> and the guest list grows. You know. Hello, I'm Jillian Brooks. This is the Waverly Hotel and Pub. It's one of the most exciting entertainment spots in Cumberland. This mural is based on one of those amazing events called Rock the Block. Uh, this is on the side of Corey Ellis's gallery. Corey's an amazing artist in Cumberland here who also paints. One of the things I like to mention to people when, when they see my spray painting is that I don't use stencils of any kind or straight edges or tape or that sort of thing. It's all freehand. So it's really, really interesting to meet you, Rose, and I wonder, um, coming to Cumberland uh, for such a short period of time you really managed to catch a lot of the activity so what do you think oh it's a beautiful place i'm astounded by how many artists so it's like a concentration of arts an elixir of arts yeah we're really packed in here um and people are really getting a lot of opportunities to do upcoming and fun art stuff <laughs> uh, my name is ron pogue and i live in cumberland bc we're here at uh, Tarbell's Coffee Bar for our morning caffeinated beverages. I'm a photographer. Uh, I have been for many years. My grandfather was a photographer during the war and he always inspired me to uh, to want to be able to follow in his footsteps essentially. 
probably about five years ago now, I started documenting the daily life, my daily life here in Cumberland, BC. I just get up every morning, go for a walk out into the hills, walk around the trails and forests, take photos of the sunrise and whatever else I happen to see. So the festivals around here have been really good to me. Um, there used to be a local festival called the Big Time Out Music Festival. Uh, which was absolutely fabulous. It used to happen in the village park just down the street. You're saying that there are lots of descendants from, from pirates? Uh, there's, there's all sorts of, uh, of the, the sort of underbelly of society represented in Cumberland. And my friend uh, Kim Bannerman Piggott is a local author and she writes historically based fiction um, to sort of capture the, the essence of what life would have been like without being restricted by exact facts and names. Um, but her characters reflect historical figures of Cumberland and um, so recently she's released one called Bucket of Blood. It's a much less socially acceptable thing these days but back then they were resourceful individuals and this was a wonderful place for them to call home uh, at the end of uh, an illustrious career of looting and pillaging. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so what's your name? My name's Megan Cruzens. Can you tell me a little bit about the project that's going on here today? Yeah, well, we're, um, this film is being made for the Cumberland Community Forest Society on Vancouver Island. In Canada, there is a lot of crown land, but not on Vancouver Island. So this is all owned by private companies, like um, investment firms and things like that. It has been for over a century. The whole thing's going to be logged. Um, right. And what, what would it be part. after logging? Uh, it would be a clear cut. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then it would grow back eventually. But right now it's become what's called a closed canopy second growth forest, um, which is an important ecological um, uh, um, feature. We don't expect the state to do things which you know, maybe they should do, but we tend to just take it in our own hands. That's which is, we do which is great. We yeah. need all of you. No matter where you live, to join our community to ensure our forests are safe. For everyone to enjoy. You can keep up. Can you stop? I'm going to go back a little bit more, and then this is where all these zips up. All Including right. you! Happy motherfucking birthday function! Oh. 
So we've had lots of really interesting things in episode two of Wet Wild and Wacky BC. Uh, we've had break dancers, we've had DJs, we've had photographers, we've had graffiti artists, and we've had a fantastic cause to save the trees of Cumberland. I've decided to end this episode with some true Canadian comedy from back in the day. And uh, I hope that uh, I will see you again soon for another episode of Wet Wild and Wacky BC. Have a good one. Do it. He's in tune. Hey, good day. Welcome to the Great White North. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going, eh? Okay, our topic today is the Great White North because we got like lots of mail, eh? Like about it, eh? Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> this By is the it. way, this topic was my idea, eh? Yeah. What? Lying. Okay, this is the Great White North, okay, on the map. Now, here is a different color because it's like USA. And up there, same color as Alaska, eh? Because that's like Hawaii. Okay, so the whole thing is the Great White North and the blue, like the ocean. Right, because water's blue. He's a genius, eh? It's like, these are like the Great Lakes, and there's three of them. Everybody, and here's, Everyone this is knows, Hudson's Bay, where you get like those striped coats. Yeah. Okay, now these is all, are all the provinces. And this G? is a, like a pimple right here. That's this Florida. Is, Take yeah. off. It's Florida. I, I remember these. pimples. This is Mexico. Okay, if these you, are the provinces. You squeeze it, then see what happens. Take off. <laughs> these are the provinces. O and R. And, like, there's oh, no yeah. lines here. Like, you know, on a the map, there's lines. Are. If there's no all, lines in the real country. If like, you all remember your geography, take you'll off. remember the province of R. If you're <laughs> in an airplane, right, and you, you can't see the lines between the provinces, you see highways, right? Little cars, that's that. Okay, so on the map, there, there's not the lines, right? But those are the provinces. So now you know. Yeah. You okay. can go what tell did... your teachers to take off because you've been taught by a genius. What did I forget? I forgot. Uh... You forgot the beginning, the middle, and the end. Oh, geez. That's okay. Take a look. We f the Maritimes is blocked by our tree. Get the tree away so everyone can see the Maritimes. Here they are. Zoom everyone. in on the Maritimes. Zoom in. Yeah. Good day, everyone in the Maritimes. How's your fish? They have fish out there as a natural resource. Okay, zoom out. Zoom out now. Okay. Oh, so that's our topic for today, the Great White North. So, good day. What an education, eh? Say good day. <laughs> good day. I that, didn't like that topic. Yeah, well, it's about time that we... It about time. It, Take it, off. It about time.